this is awesome. Look at the lineup just for Santa, isn't it? We've had lots of great people come out. We've got amazing artisans. We just love celebrating our makers and creators, and it's, it's a fabulous event. You guys are all about handmade local stuff. Now, it is Christmas, and you both have to get a wish this year for Christmas. If you have to make a wish for each one of these vendors, what would it be? We want them to do amazing. This is how they support their families. So we want them to just sell out all of the lovely products. These, these uh, vendors have been working on their uh, creations for three, four months preparing for this event. Santa, do you have a spot for me there? Cowboys get a turn too. How are you doing, Santa? I'm doing just wonderful. Yourself? Very wonderful. Everybody always comes with their wishes to you. What is your wish this year? What do you want to see? I would love, as always, to have peace on earth. That has been my wish for many, many, many years. Well, I can't fault that. That's a noble, noble wish. And I have some advice for that. What's that? Spread the candy, because you can, if you have enough candy, people don't fight over it. Spread the love, <laughs> people don't fight. <laughs> I have to ask, what's this about? It's sprinkles. We do our own custom colors and mixes, and we do them for weddings, anniversaries, baby showers. Every reason to have sprinkles. These ones are the most popular for Christmas so far, so that's a nice mix of candy canes and everything in there. Now this goes well with eggnog. I figured that yes. one out already, yeah. especially with a dash of bourbon. I do silversmith work. I do castings, free form, and custom designing. You want Look cowboy at this. stuff? Yes. It is authentic cowboy stuff. That's a rope. You, you, it, what do you do with this, though? Because you, you made it with in it. chips, chip or and dip. More fruit. fruit. Yeah, cowboys eat fruit. Okay, if there's somebody in Okotoks making chocolate, we want to know about. Yeah, what do you sure. call yourself? Obsession Hemi chocolates. So we've got hazelnut. Mm -hmm. That's a salted caramel. <laughs> uh, Sun which is dark chocolate and ash. Raspberry truffle. Mia, which is a macadamia nut and caramel. Uh, passion fruit. This is a strawberry and balsamic. Peri dolce, which is pear and pear williams. And cranberry almond truffle. Peri dolce. Yeah. You're doing pear. Mm -hmm. Pear is a hard flavor to work with. How did you get that? Uh, well, it's teamed up pear williams and fresh pear. So, because it is a very subtle, but it's definitely worth achieving with milk chocolate. It's a beautiful pairing. Are you making the gilded glasses? Yes. Tell me more about that. Is it a film or a, or a paint? Or? So the gilding is actually, it comes in little metal sheets. It comes in little five inch um, sheets. So what we do is we put the glue on to the glass. We hand draw it on. We apply the metal leaf and then we top coat it with uh, epoxy. But yeah, you can use them for wine, obviously, but lots of people just use them for water glasses to dress up their table. Do you have any beer ones? No beer. No beer? Not yet, but if you've had so, the request. Okay, here's the request. Okay. You, you find us the right beer mug and you can gill that for us. Right. Then uh, we'd like to know. Okay. We'd like to, to make a story about Excellent. that. We'd like to come and see it. Partner, how's it How's going? it going, partner? Fantastic. And Good. You guys? You uh, you know this guy? He, two cowboys and a camera. Two cowboys and he knows us. Oh yes. <laughs> what are you serving today? Well, we're selling our, our best uh, pierogi, which is our classic pierogi, filled with potato, cheddar cheese, bacon, and onion. That's the Christmas version. That's the Christmas version. Do you have a Christmas version this year? Uh, not really. No, it's not Santa Claus approved yet. <laughs> Hot sauce made in Okutux. Uh -huh. There's a guy in here that makes barbecue sauce in town already, but you 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 starting to push him a little out of the market now? Um, I don't know about the other competition, so... That's the spirit. You yeah. shouldn't know. You don't I care about the I competition. I don't care. I'm only mine. Tell me about yours. What right, are you making? So, uh, we, make, we started with the hot sauce about three years ago, uh, locally made here in Okotoks. What do you call it? Uh, Chimmy's hot sauce. You Chimmy? No, I am Chimmy. You are? Yes. So, we decided to make mayo better for the consumer. And then we infuse it into ketchup, make it better, and then our rendition of Argentina and chimichurri. We also have a food truck called Chimmy's Fresh Grill, and we use all our products to create our menu item. I'd love to taste your mayo. Do people put that on their fries? Do they we know how to do that fries. yet? We put it on our fish tacos, we put it on our beef tacos. It's the base for all our salads. At home, we eat a jar a week. We put it on everything. It's that awesome. I love to hear that. I want, want to taste. Let's go for the mayo. Right. See. And you're saying this is hot mayo then? It's about a You, you want to hold this for me? Yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, 
If this works, buddy, you're going to have fans for life. How many bottles of these do you have? Uh, right now, none. I sold out, but there's more coming. In about half hour, it should be here. So in half an hour, we, we can come sure, and get ourselves get some mayo? Yeah. You making bone broth? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and where did the idea come from? Uh, my grandmother made it for me when I was a little girl, and it's my favorite thing to eat as an adult too. So I decided to make it into a business so I could help nourish everyone. I've been doing. clearly people like it because everybody stops here and they come in to get them. It's delicious. It is delicious. You I, like I'd like it. to have a try for sure. I'm gonna have a try. Help me. Are you gonna give me away the secret? How do you make this? I slow simmer organic free-range bones for the time it takes to release all of the minerals from the bone into the broth. So for poultry, that's 24 hours. For beef and bison, elk, moose, bigger bone animals, that's going to be 48 hours. This is new. This is, I, I didn't know people doing this. What's your name, Happy? Crystal. Crystal, what do you call your business? High Vibe Health. High Vibe Health. High Vibration. Listen, High Vibration. I think I'm going to vibrate after this chocolate, I can tell you that. <laughs> 